hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial you will learn how to design a church flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started all right so here is a five paper size go to your test document to copy this color code then come over to solid color select it and right click over here to paste the color now we are going back again to our test document to copy this test over here the church name then select your test to Control plus V to paste then apply left alignment zoom it in and position this one at the center reduce the font size then apply vertical alignment and deselect now copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy you can as well right click and copy it then drag this one over here to duplicate or press ctrl plus j for duplicate then ctrl plus a to alight ctrl plus v to paste Open the character spacing. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to rotate it. Then I'm going to leave it like this for now. All right. So the next stage now then we are going to copy this one and over here is the test infect i'm going to use then double click here to open it now we are going to select our test tool then go to fonts and we are going to use the font impact Then apply the fonts. Then Ctrl plus A to alight and you paste your test. Then we are going to reduce the font size so that we can see the test in full. Then go to file and save it. After saving it, so here is the outcome of it. Now we are going to remove the background and the FX shadow here, I'm going to remove the top one. Then the 3D, we are going to remove it. And now this is what I want and I'm going to apply this one. So having done this one the next thing go to file then go to export and export as then we are going to change the format from jpeg to png then export it you save it okay so here now we are going to do the same thing to the worship test here so then apply the same format we use in the previous one you save it 
then close this one so having saved it then this is the outcome of it now go to file and export export as then and after that then you save it just like we did in the first one now we are going to import the one we save now reduce the font size then go back and import the second one reduce this one to fit it properly or you drag it like this is okay then apply okay now we are going to select this test over here present and drag it down at the top here rotate it to set it properly then you can now use your mouse arrow key then to bring it down now we are going to apply this light effect between the test then change the bloody mode to screen and rotate it reduce the size okay Hold your shift key while you group it. You can use Ctrl plus G to group it. Then we are going to import our images. Then I will leave this one over here. Reduce the size. It's okay. Then go back to your resource file and import the rest. Arrange it properly. I think this is okay to be better like this then we have to increase this one so that this one will be more bold now go back to import orders right click and rasterize it go to property scroll it down and click on remove background so as you can see we have removed the background so now in the next one we are going to reduce the size then position it around here reduce the size So okay like this. Now convert it to smart object. Then import this one. So 
so one thing you should notice here when you are doing this for a client ensure that the image quality is high than what you are seeing here so it shouldn't be blur like this So having arranged it, then we are going to apply to past labs details. Then I'm going to use one of my presets and you can see the setting over here, which I'm going to also adjust the settings. So take note of this setting number you are seeing on the screen it's okay now we are going to apply the same thing to the rest image Also adjust the setting. Then click OK to apply the setting. And the last image also apply the same thing. So these are the settings you should take note off then apply on it so this is what we have here so no need to apply to the other image because the other image also have a two pass labs so having done it then we convert it to smart objects now we are going to blend the bottom over here it's all right Then the next, we are going to apply their names. Select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Also, we have to break it. Then apply center alignment. Then remove the character spacing. Now we are going to re reduce the font size. This will be OK. Now duplicate it or you press Ctrl plus J to duplicate. So we are going to do the same thing as we apply to the first image. Okay, so we are done with the names. Now, arrange them properly as you want it to be. Then hold your shift key while you group, you group them after selecting it. So the next, we are going to draw a rent angle.
place it over here then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then zoom it in apply a corner shape now go to fx to apply a gradient color then i'm going to use this color here and in this color these are the code to copy copy it down so and these are the second code all right now drag it over here Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then place it inside here. Then we are going to duplicate the test. Now bring it out here. Then we are going to change this color back to white. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus A to alight and Ctrl plus V to paste. Apply left alignment. then apply superscript to that we have to reduce the font size Then duplicate it. Right. So what I did is to duplicate it using Control key, Control plus J. Then replace this one with time. Go back to your test and copy it. Select the test to Ctrl plus A to alight and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Then I'm going to change this color to red. Now drag it out. Then duplicate it. Now we are going to bring this one down. It's okay. Now copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then we are going to duplicate this one. And bring it down. Highlight it. Then you paste your test. Alright. So click like this.
then group them together then apply vertical alignment to centralize it now deselect the line so now we are going to input the location then import the location icon reduce the size reduce the size then select your test to control plus v to paste and we are going to reduce the font size Now import this paper brush, drag it down and increase the size. Then we are going to increase this image over here. Increase the size one more time. All right. Then we are also going to increase the date and time. And this one, we are going to bring it down a little and increase the size then select all while you apply vertical alignment so i made a mistake there why i did not group it before doing that so now i'm going to select the location uh, icon use your arrow key then to move it Now I'm going to group it, go back, select all, apply vertical alignment, then you deselect. So having increased the size, I'm going to reduce the font size a little. Okay, so having concluded with this one, so now we are going to the background now. Then first we are going to import this icon, drag it up and position it here. Then zoom in. Then shift this one, select your rental go and create a line between. Then apply this orange color. Now use your arrow key then to bring it back. Hold your hold your shift key while you select it and group it. Then select all, apply vertical alignment and deselect. So what I did is to use the control key, control plus A and control plus D to select all and to deselect. Then let's fix the background now. So the first I'm going to import this background image here. 
Then I'll drag it over here. Now we are going to scale it out. Then apply your blur, Gaussian blur. Then input 9.4. Then apply your layer mask, blend the edges over here, go to your blending mode, then and change it to hard lights. Now we are going to import this one, then drag it to reduce the size. Then go back to the first background image and scale it out. Now take this one up. Then change the bloody mode to color dodge. Reduce the opacity to 53%. Apply your layer mask. Then I'm blend over here. So what I need is the light effect at the top of it. So the next we are going to import this one. Scale it out. Then change the bloody mode to overlay. Apply your layer mask while we are going to blend it around. Then we are going to reduce this way. It's all right. Okay. So now go back to your resource file. And we are going to import this worship image. Drag it up. And reduce the size. Then... We are going to rasterize it. Go to image adjustments and select the saturation. Then change the blend mode to luminosity. Now apply a layer mask and blend the bottom and the other side of it. Okay. Now reduce the opacity. So this is 25%. I think it's okay like this. Now. So the next we are going to do. Then we are going to group it together. And rasterize it. So I rasterize the image. And I'm going to apply the saturate. Like this. So having done this one. Then apply level. Then play with this level. To adjust the color. So okay like this so you can see before and after so all right that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching then if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share if you need any of my flyer you can go to my fiber account the link is there and place your order thank you so much for watching